All right, hello. Um, so I'm not even sure if this will make it to YouTube, but if it does, uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. I'm just gonna be doing some you quizzes here. All right, so we're gonna start with this um, character quiz. I'm not sure how well this will go, but question one: pick a way to wake up. Option one is to the smell of coffee and the voices of people you love. Well, first off, I don't uh, love anyone, so that's gonna be a problem. But I do like the smell of coffee, so, so there's some potential there. The second option is early, to birdsong and gentle daylight. I'm not waking up early, I'll tell you that much right now. Third option is early enough to watch the sunrise before anyone else wakes up. I really like it when that actually happens. I do. You know, you ever just wake up, end up waking up at like 5, 6 in the morning, maybe you're at a, like a friend's house and you're just, you know, it's just, it's real peaceful, but I don't, I wouldn't want to do it consistently, so that's something to factor in, I think, into this. When they ask a way to wake up, are they asking if you want to do it like once, or do you want to do it every time you wake up? Let's think about it here. The fourth option is waking up and going back to sleep a few times knowing you have nothing to do today. Honestly, that's the mood right there. Um, the fifth option is any time past noon sounds good. <laughs> All right, a bit of a, in my experience, the fourth and fifth options are kind of the same thing, but I'm thinking like, in spirit, I'm thinking this is gonna be my option. The last choice here is to a pet waking you up for food. Now that's actually kind of nice when it happens, but I, I don't actually happen to have any pets right now, so I'm just gonna go with this anytime past noon choice. Pick a deadly sin. Oh, here, here's a fun question, all right. And yeah, we're just walking through the seven deadly sins. Um, greed's pretty cool, like, everyone, everyone likes money, right? Wrath. People, like, wrath sounds kind of cool on the surface level, but I just think of those, like, videos of people freaking out in public places. I'm not really into that. Lust, that's, that's, I'm not picking lust, that's weird. Gluttony, it's like, gluttony is basically greed, but, like, gross, let's be honest here. Slaws, I'm not actually a big fan of slaws. Kind of weird me out, like, they... They act like they can only move so slow. I I don't trust sloths at all. I'm not I'm not into sloth here. Envy isn't really a fun sin. Like it's relatable, but it's not something I want to like associate myself with deliberately. And pride, pride can be fun, but it doesn't it doesn't beat greed. Nothing nothing beats greed in this list here. All right, now it's asking me to pick a painting here for question three. So oh, I honestly don't fully know. Like, what's happening in each of these pictures. This one, first painting here is a couple people. I don't really know what they're doing with their kissing or whatever. They're, it looks like they're having an intimate moment. I don't really want to get in on that. I want to intrude. Second painting is someone just, like, looking edgy by a window. I, that's relatable, let's be honest. We all just, who doesn't just go stand by a window and look edgy sometimes? But it's not really the kind of painting I'd want to pick. That was my first choice. Third, it looks like there's a couple of people tearing into a pomegranate. I don't know if it's supposed to be like suggestive or what, but I, I'm I'm really not feeling it. The fourth one I can tell you right now, the fourth one's gonna be my pick. It's some guy like moping in a corner. I don't know if he's at a piano or a desk or what, but just everything about this is cool. The fifth picture here is uh, Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian's pretty iconic. I like like the imagery, but it's not. Once again, it's not really it doesn't reflect me personally. And I've got no idea what's happening in the sixth image. I don't know. If it's two people. I don't know if they're sharing a mouth or if the, that hole on the left is supposed to be her mouth. Real freaky. I don't. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Question four now. Pick an actual piece of irredeemable media. Now we've got Supernatural, Glee, Riverdale, Bridgerton, Hamilton, and Twilight. I can't really talk through these because I, d I don't know much of anything about any of these, honestly. I will say, though, everything I've seen from Riverdale has been absolutely nuts, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Alright, question five is pick a body part. We've got uh, the knuckle, which, unless you're in Sonic, I don't, I'm not a big fan of them, like, as a concept. Here's the nape of the neck. 
I don't really know what nape means. Like, I know what nape with neck as a phrase is referring to, but nape in isolation, like, as its own word, I don't really... I don't get what's going on there. I don't... I'm not liking that. Palms. Makes me think of Lose Yourself. You know, knees weak, palms sweaty. That, that's pretty good. Option four here is ankle. Ankle... Ankle's kind of a weird choice. It makes me think of, like, Victorian kind of... Victorian era perverts. Option five is shoulder. Shoulders, let's be honest, shoulders are boring. Who, who likes shoulders? They're not, they're not interesting. And option six here is the small of the back. Small shouldn't be a noun. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really don't think small, like, should be used like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick palms, I guess. I'm not really a big fan of any of these, but it's really, palms is really, like, our best choice. Question six says, Oh, I've just realized I've been ordering you to pick things for the entirety of this quiz. Bit rude of me. What do you think of the color orange? I mean, like, off the bat, like, being ordered to pick things is kind of like the whole point of a quiz, so I don't... I think this apology might be a bit spurious, but... Option one is, the orange of the sunset is pretty. Which, I mean, is true, but... Orange isn't really, like, the dominant color in sunsets. When I think of sunset, it's mostly, like, the red that stands out. Orange is just kind of, like, a supporting color. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You need supporting colors, it's, but it doesn't really... It's not a big plus for it as a concept. Question two is no opinion on it, really. Which, I, I mean, I definitely have opinions. That's what I'm here for, so... Option three says, I don't like it. Honestly, all colors are pretty contextual in terms of like shade and like what colors are next to you in terms of how good and bad they are. But uh, orange occurs in a lot of bad contexts. I don't know if it's just bad marketing. Like I definitely understand not liking it. Option four is superior color. All shades of orange are hot. Personally, I wouldn't really be calling like shades hot. I I don't really swing that way. If you do, like, you know, love who you love, whatever. It's it's not. That's that's not me. That's all I'll say on that front. And option five is, it's not a bad color. There are just so many better ones. Which, yeah, I agree with. Like, like I said, like all colors, orange is context dependent. You can't really see as a whole it's good or bad. It doesn't occur in a good context very often. So, question seven. Okay, now back to ordering you around. Pick a quote, and then a heart written out, like old style. Honestly, I really like, like, old style emotes like this. Like, I, emojis have their place, I respect emojis, but, like, they have different energies, you know? I think we should really be taking advantage of the full possible spectrum of, like, self-expression. Like, there's a place for emoji hearts, there's- I think there should also be a place for less than threes, you know? Alright, so our first option is I lived like a monster, my only hope is to die like a child, but Fran's right. I mean, it's kind of a mood. I don't know how, like, interesting it is as a quote, though. Option two is, she needs me more than I need untainted hands. Um, to me, I'm not fully sure how this is being, like, phrased. Like, this one, I, I'm not feeling this one either. I don't, I don't really know how to explain this one, but it's, it's not me. Option three is, I envy all people because I'm not them. That's a big mood right there. That's our definite candidate right now. Option four is not that I want to be a god or a hero, just to change into a tree, grow for ages, not hurt anyone. I, I don't agree with that. I want to hurt people, you know? I want to be, I want to be a god. I want to hurt people. Being a tree would be pretty cool, but I, there's too much violence I want to commit, you know? So that's, that's, this one's not me. I respect it, big, big ups if this is you, but I, uh, it's not me. And our fifth and last quote is by Virginia Woolf, who is the only author that I recognize on the list, and she said, And you wish to be a poet, and you wish to be a lover. It's not really a full thought, is it? Like, it was probably a full thought in context, as it's being presented. It, this doesn't really doesn't mean a whole lot. I'm gonna go with the middle one here. I envy all people because I'm not them. I, I like that. Alright, question eight is pick something to do. Our first option is soothe, which, um, honestly, I'm terrible at soothing people. I wish I could do it well, but it's not really me. 
Option two is learn. Option three is fight, which that fits the most thematically with what I was saying before, so I might end up going with that. Option four is bleed. I tend to bleed a lot, just genuinely just randomly, so I kind of like that option as like uh, the realistic choice. Our fifth option here is love, which as I think I've said before, I'm not really into that. Let's go bleed, I guess. Fight's a good choice too, but I'm going with bleed. Question nine, let's pick something to be. Our first choice is good. It's a bit late for that, I'd have to say, personally. Option two is vindicated. I, vindication's pretty good. Vindication's pretty satisfying. I think I might end up going with that. Option three is healed. If this includes mentally, I'm definitely for that. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check that r right now then. Option four is well rested. That's actually a big toss up. I was pretty confident in healed, but being well rested would be pretty nice. Option five is love. That that's not gonna happen. I'm we'll go with well rested, I think. Question ten is pick an ending for a story. It's not really a question, but let's let's go with it. And then option one is happy. I don't know if we're t picking like for our personal lives, but I don't really see happy happening in Option two is everything goes back to normal, but nothing is really the same. Very topical choice. I'll keep it in mind. Option three is bloody. Very thematic. Keeping in with like the violence theme we've got going on. That's pretty good. Option four is bloody, but the blood feels good. That's, that's better. I like that a lot. Option five is a kitchen table and a bowl of fruit. Um, I don't really know what that means, which means I kind of like it. Am I like, am I there with the table? And option six is you'll never be the same, but maybe that's a good thing. Honestly, that's really just part of like normal story structure. So I'm going to go with the blood one. I I'm, I'm an edgy boy. Let's, let's go with bloody. That sounds good. All right. So we've reached the end of the quiz. Okay. I'll put, um, loving those than three hearts. Keep the, sp the spirit alive. All right, and let's see what we get. I got the disillusionment arc. That's, that's pretty accurate already. All right, and here's the paragraph. It's hard to imagine yourself when you were young. Maybe you were meant to be a hero. Maybe you could have been in another world, but this world only made you sad. There seem to be too many problems to fix and too much cruelty and too many hard lines that you did not know how to soften. The world turns and it is bloody and hard and you sit on your bed thinking about the blood and the hardness and all you fail to do. I know it feels like you could sleep until the end of time, but I hope you don't. I hope you lift yourself out of bed one day not to save the world, but to peel an orange and to walk in a forest find all the softness you could not create. I see we kept up the uh, blood theme all the way to the end. That's very good. I, I like that strong sense of theme really tells me that they're onto something. I um honestly it's a very well written result. It seems like a pretty thought out answer. I'm I like this one. I'll give it um I'll give it five stars. I feel like I feel like you should rate these like kinda like Amazon where you give everything five stars unless something went wrong. Okay, I got Forest Lois. That that's okay. Cause it's not great, but I I didn't get the romance arc, which is bad for that. So uh, this is my first time recording one of these. It uh, I've been recording for like half an hour, and I don't know if I'll even get like five minutes of usable footage after I'm done editing. But hey, that's that's alright. I had a pretty good time honestly doing this. Hopefully, I'll have time sometime later on to do this again. Hopefully I'll have time to edit this and then actually put it up on YouTube in the first place. But if this if this does end up being edited and put on YouTube and you do end up watching this, uh, thanks for watching. I had fun. Hopefully you did too. Normally I plan in the future recording these in batches. Hopefully the recording session will go a bit faster, a bit punchier, a bit longer. But this time I only really had time to record this one quiz, so... There's not going to be another video until I get a chance to record the next one. Hopefully that'll be soon. It might not though. But uh, if you do, if you end up watching this, thanks for watching. Thanks for just chilling out. All right, leave your thoughts in the comments and just have fun. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.